Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to Wilder Path Farm. Here we're located in Northern Canada where we do homesteading, gardening, and everything in between. Today is the weekend and Nem is home, so we are doing all our weekend chores. It's a nice day for a February. Yeah. It's we're almost March. We're outside in our sweaters, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then this week is supposed to go up to plus 12. Is it? Yeah. Is it going to be wet? Yeah, it's going to be muddy. All the snow is going to melt for sure. So we're going to take you along for our chores today, but I thought that you could at least say hi to the puppy first. Not going to go in there and bother him because he's napping a bit. Um, he spends a lot of the day outside. We don't want him laying down in the snow, so he's got a blanket there um, off the snow, so he's warm and dry. Again, we're out here, so I am supervising him, but he's not going to be doing anything because he's napping anyways. What you doing? I'm going to move the hay that they scattered. Go oh, into a pile? Yeah. Fat. They are. They're quite round. Can you see it? We didn't put a net on that, <coughs> on that bale. No. Which is fine, because it wasn't like the best bale that we have. But definitely with the roundness of both of them, we're going to need to put on the net for the next one, right? Yeah. Doesn't it last like a month for the net? Lasts like five to six weeks with a net, and then it lasts like three to four weeks without one. They know he's just here to hang out. Clover and Peach don't like our other, our indoor dogs to go into their pen because they're pregnant in mama mode, but they like the puppy, that's for sure. They definitely know the difference, I think. So right here, we're spreading around some of the manure because we're gonna be putting down some fresh soil here and seeding it in the spring. But it also pools a lot of water because of the construction that we had in the late fall because um, it wasn't fully completed. So this helps us with like doing chores and stuff and then if needed we'll scrape it all up uh, with a tractor but um, if not it would be very nice if we could just put some soil on top of this and then it will help grow the grass back because it will be fertilizing and then there's also hay and straw mixed in there so it does have um, some seeds as well oh yeah we forgot to mention Zeus is up from his nap you little dude you up from your nap. Get up away. Come on, let's go. Come on. Go boy. Huh? Said there was a ton of then I saw her in the shed there. Oh the <laughs> There she is! There's a Luna!
such a great use of your hay, huh? Hi. I don't have anything, sorry. For everyone that's new, this is Amora. She is a three and a half year old quarter horse paint, which is an estimation. Don't really know what she is, but she is a very pretty sweet girl. Right? And then her friend over there is Honey. Honey is a 17 year old fjord. Both the horses are riding horses and they have the job of like taking us on trail rides and they'll be teaching lessons. Um, and they'll also be doing a pony camp this summer, which will be really fun. How's it going? Good. Full of nuggets. Yeah, that's a good word for it. Shadow's back rolling around. Lena, leave him alone. Oh, shadow. Now I'll leave him alone. Keep going. He's so cute. So, should we talk about what we're doing today? Uh, sure. Today, we are cleaning stalls and playing with the puppy. And right now, I'm picking up lots of nuggets. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah. What else are you doing? Um... We gotta show the cats their new house. Yeah, the cats are being evicted from the garage because now it's going to be, be a little a lot warmer and they don't want to be in the garage either oh there's bones um they want to be in the barn so we're going to have to start feeding them there so would we need to lock them up in there because that's going to be tough no maybe not no like they're outdoor cats, they'll be fun. <laughs> Zeus is sleeping. Zeus is sleeping again. Good. Yeah. Amora, what are you doing? I just missed it on camera. But she's been doing this thing because she's bored and we can't ride because there's so too much ice. She picks up her halters here and throws them in the snow. Runs around with them like a toy. Huh, just to get attention. That's super cute. You just nap in there. Look at him. He's doing really good. He's not being too silly around the goats. And I find that he's actually a really calm, chill, sweet puppy. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to him when he grows up. Well, it's just chilling out here in the snow. Good girl, Nala. Good girl. You know what I have noticed? What? Ever since we got brought the puppy home, yeah. Nala's not running off as much. That's good. Yeah. Because she kind of just wants to stick around with the puppy. No, no, you're guarding your baby. You gotta share that your food, though. She's not gonna share for food, come on now.
Leave the cats alone, Luna. So the plan is for when we have everything established barn wise, stall wise and everything that we want to breed this beautiful girl so that we can have one of her babies. And I mean, she's just such a great temperament. She's got really great confirmation, great hooves. Her like whole personality is absolutely to die for. She is a very lovey, don't playful <laughs> mare. And we're very lucky. So I'm really hoping to get a baby out of her as well as have many, many, many years with her riding her and have her teach some kids how to ride as well. Cause she's just got such a great personality even when riding as well for a baby, like she's a unicorn, definitely. She is losing her brown coat here. Um, it is going white gray color. And if you kind of go underneath there, don't the focus. It's going white and that used to be so dark back there and now it's going like a silvery gray. I had another horse friend that showed me a picture of a horse that she knew of that looked exactly like Amora here. And when he grew up, he, he, he turned out all gray. So we might have to say goodbye to the paint. Her beautiful, ow. Her beautiful markings, which would be sad, but that's okay, right? Shadow loves you. He's too friendly of a cat. He's a barn cat that wants to be an indoor cat. Yeah. <clears throat> wants to be a ride on your back kind of kitty cat. He should just be an indoor cat. But I don't like cats at, at home. Well, I don't want to clean the litter box, do you? No. Okay. I can't believe he's still sleeping. I can't believe he's still sleeping. He's, he's a sleepy puppy. Hopefully he sleeps when we leave today. So what? I said hopefully he still sleeps when we leave today. Uh, I think he will. He'll play Get for a bit. Peachy, you're so cute. There <laughs> <laughs> we go, dude's sleeping over there. Hi, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. You guys are looking so good. You don't want to come out? Everyone's napping. Goats are napping, puppies napping, these dogs are resting, kittens are resting, horses are napping. Everyone's napping. Are the horses are resting? Yeah, they're just in a napping spot.
girl Bones' favorite spot? It's because it's so warm. <laughs> well, we made this shelter work for this season for the hay. Yeah. It's a pain in the butt, but it works. So you're just gonna make it work? Yeah. I was constantly clearing it off because it seemed that we got a lot of snow. Eat, like during the week when you're at work or like overnight where you had to leave for work the next morning. Yeah. So it technically is possible to do on your own kind of thing. Turned out better than just covering it with a tarp. Yeah. Instead of like our hay going bad or moldy or yucky in any sort of way. Yeah. We only lost one, which is really good. And we're just going to use it for mulch, right? So, yeah. oh, we're going to probably need that for work. She pooped in it. That's great. Can you stop pooping in your water bucket? It's not a toilet. Ew, it even really reeks. Jeez, that stinks. That's why you need to clean water buckets out constantly. sitting here in the sun because it is so beautiful out and we're gonna enjoy the rest of the morning get some chores done around the farm and we'll catch you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching if you like our content like and comment down below of what you would like to see next all right guys so we'll catch you in the next one bye guys